Chromatic mediant chords, you've heard them in countless film scores from Star Wars and Star Trek to Lord of the Rings and many others. But what are they? As you might have guessed, chromatic mediants are alterations to the mediant and submediant chords. Their roots are a major or minor third apart, and they either share one common tone or a quality such as major or minor. These chords are really easy to understand once you learn how the chromatic mediant chart breaks down. So let's walk through the entire chart. This is our chromatic mediant chart. At first glance, it might look complicated, but once we break it down, you'll see that it's actually fairly simple. Let's break the chart up into three parts. The first part is these four chords on the left side of the chart. First, you have the key of C major. Its parallel minor is C minor. C major's relative minor is A minor. And A minor's parallel major is A major. The second part of the chart is these four chords right here. E minor is the diatonic three chord or mediant chord in the key of C major. The A minor minor is the diatonic 6 chord or submediant in the key of C major. And likewise, C major is the diatonic 3 chord in A minor, and F major is the diatonic 6 chord in A minor. These six chords up in the top right section are the chromatic medians in relation to C major, whereas these six chords in the bottom right section are the chromatic median chords for the key of A minor. Let's first start with the key of C major. The three chord again is this E minor chord. This chord has three chromatic alterations that you can use instead. The first chord is E major. Its root is a major third away from C major, and it shares one common tone, the E natural. This chord is essentially just a chromatic alteration of this chord. If you take the third of the chord G and you simply raise it a half step to G sharp, you get E major. The next chord is E flat major. Now when you see an E flat, you know that this chord is not related to C major, but rather it's parallel minor C minor. If however you are using this E flat major chord in the key of C major, it does still share one common tone, the G, and the root is a minor third apart from C. And they also share the quality of major. The next chord is E flat minor, and this is a chromatic alteration of the E flat major chord. If you take the third or G and you simply lower it one half step, you get G flat. The root is also a minor third away from C, but it shares no common tones with C major. It's worth pointing out that the chords which share common tones with each other will have the smoothest transition between them, whereas the chords that share no common tones will sound more disconnected and out there. That's not to say that they don't sound good, they sound great. It's a very unique sound, but it's just something to be aware of. Now, if we're still looking at this from the perspective of C major, the sixth chord or submediant also has three chromatic mediant chords that you can use. The first is A major, which is a chromatic alteration of A minor. You simply raise that C up a half step to C sharp. The root is a minor third apart from C. C down A minor third is A and it shares a common tone of E natural. The next two chords are both A flat chords. Notice that they have E flats in them. So that's how you know they are related to C major's parallel minor, C minor. The A flat major chord shares a common tone C with C major, and the root is a major third apart. And the next chord, A flat minor, again, you're taking that C and you're chromatically lowering it one half step to C flat. The root is still related to C major by a major third, but these share no common tones. Let's look at the parallel minor next, which is C minor. The diatonic three and six chords in the key of C minor are the E flat major and the A flat major. So in the key of C minor, your chromatic median chords would be E minor, E major, and E flat minor. And the chromatic submedians would be A minor, A major, and A flat minor. The bottom half of the chart works the same way. If you're in the key of A minor, the diatonic three chord and six chord are C major and F major. The three chromatic median chords are C minor, C sharp minor, and C sharp major. And the three chromatic submedian chords are F minor, F sharp minor, and F sharp major. And if you're looking at the key of A major, the diatonic three and six chord are C sharp minor and F sharp minor. So the chromatic medians for A major will be C major, C minor, and C sharp major, as well as F major, F minor, and F sharp major. You can also use these chromatic mediant relationships not just between chords, but between two different key centers. For example, you could write an entire A section in the key of C major, and then in the B section, you could modulate to something like E flat major. I'm not gonna play every combination, but here are a couple of examples, so you can start to become familiar with some of the atmospheres that these chords provide. <laughs>
There you have chromatic median chords. If you want a more in-depth look at this topic, here's a link to the full video where I discuss their uses in different contexts like jazz and film scoring. And I also go over all the different scale possibilities as well as how to unify all the chords in the chart. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.